So um, today we're going to sample wheat. So just the touch screen, you just press on wheat. Um, it's asking me if I've got the right um, cell in, so I can just check that. Um, I'm going to say no for argument's sake. Open this up. I'm going to check. So we need number 18 for wheat and barley, which is what we've got in there. I'm going to place that back in. I'm going to close it. So it's literally a 30 second, 30 second job to change cells over. And now I'm going to place some wheat in here. And then I just press uh, start and it's just going to run through its calculations. The lamp is warming up as we go. I normally start this up first thing in the morning when we're fueling up the header. So the hotter the lamp, the more accurate it'll be. And now it's just going to take 10 samples. We've just done um, 10 into it's self-cleaning. Hopefully. Yep, there you go. <laughs> and then we'll just wait 30 seconds and it'll come up with the answer. Shows it on the screen, does it? Yep, shows it on the screen. Come up with your protein and um, come up with the moisture and also protein. So here's your moisture is 11.6 and the protein's 10%. Right. So at these rates, you're off. off. So it just tells you everything you need to know whether it's ready for harvesting. Yep. What about, you can uh, run uh, canola through this, chickpeas, lentils, beans, peas, sorghum, corn. There's a wide, wide range of um, crops you can run through this machine. Oh, yeah. And we can recalibrate it if we have to, um, but we've, we haven't needed to recalibrate too many of them. How many How many years have you been using this model? Uh, so I've been using this myself as a farmer for about five years. And uh, never had a problem? No, never had a problem yet. Always been 100% accurate and reliable? Yep. yep. And how heavy are they? You can just walk around with them, can you? Yep, very, very light indeed. Comes with a bag as well if you need it. And how long does the battery last once charged to? Uh, approximately two hours, depending on how often you use it. Yeah. So how often do you have to charge? It might be a week or two? Or? Oh, well, if you're in a harvester like this one, you'll just have it running through the 12 volt and you won't ever charge it. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Yep. So Purden, I am 8800, the one to go. Yep, correct. Get it at SA Grey Services, I would have thought. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful.